Hey guys, I'm back for another Wibble Wobble video, and this week we got a few new things. Most importantly, Arachnus Awoken, who is the new SS rank. For some reason, we didn't get one last week. That was stupid. Anyway, Arachnus Awoken is an inflator and is our best one so far until we get a slurp in which they're keeping, like, sealed forever, apparently. So that's the best we're going to get for now, and that previous button isn't working for some reason. Oh, oh and now the images aren't loading, so yeah, that's really cool. And uh, what else is there? There's a new infant Inferno floor. I'm going to have to do this without the pictures. Uh, there's really nothing new on these stages. It's just kind of there to have, oh, a really strong boss. Kind of like just Infinite Inferno. I mean, the Divine Paradise used to add new stuff, but this is just more Infinite Inferno. Okay, there's the images. The next one is the login stamps with these really, really pointless Valentine's coins. These are probably the worst coins yet. Like, I ragged on those Thanksgiving coins and those Christmas coins. At least they had something on them. These are literally just, like, I think they're just, like, 3,000 wine money cranks. According to, like, the Korean version. Because they, they have these coins already. And, yeah, they're just... You only get two of them and they're only in login stamps. Like, not even any missions for Valentine's Day. Well, okay. We're gonna be doing some cranks for Arachnus. I'll be honest, I only... I think I only won money fun for not... Probably like an hour last week. I really... Last week was just a dead week for me. It was like... The cr it was just crank and then dark cube. That was like score attack was really bad last week. Not many people played at all. Like I got 14th without really getting that high of a score. Nobu didn't even uh, participate in score attack last week. Like that's how bad it was last week. That's how little. Th it's because look, last week was supposed to be Prison Breaker. We didn't get Prison Breaker because NHN are so adamant about not giving us the good yokai. It's ridiculous. Like, it just makes me not want to play at all. Like, because we're never going to get these good yokai. We, we, we haven't got Slurpin yet. They're just putting it off rage. We, we haven't got Yoni Kirin yet. Kirin's like the only one we got. Okay, hey, we got a right. So we're good. I don't know whether to um, try and max him out a bit. I'll do more, more cranks. I have more stuff to talk about. And uh, I want my boy Ragnus to be a bit more strong because he's actually a good inflator. Um, he already really has unity with Sprank S though, so yeah. Back to the topic of them not giving us any good yokai. Like, there's a reason why they skipped over Prison Breaker. And like, oh, whoops, we accidentally skipped Prison Breaker and gave you Dark Cubie, who's completely awful. Like, it's. <laughs> Come on, just give us Prison Breaker. All the good players already know he's in in the game. He's in the medallion. They're just stalling it out. He's gonna is he gonna be like the last one? Oh, we saved the best for last. You're just stalling it out. Like it, this game just feels so bad. Like compared to Puni, that has like events. I don't I don't know if it's every week, but every time they do get an event, it actually feels substantial. Like. I get that they're like six months ahead of us, but oh, I didn't mean to click that. Well, I'll, just, I'll use these purple coin G's because I got them last week. I don't even know what's. There's like nothing really good on them. Though, Dark Nyan is in the Japanese pink coin G's, but I, I mean purple coin G's, but I don't know if he's on our ones. Yeah, like with Puni, they have events that actually change up like game mechanics like there's one where you flick the wibble up to a target like really actually interesting stuff there, there was like an event that was um you had to do certain things whilst on the board like you had to link up a certain amount of wibwob in like a few seconds or something it was like a really fast paced event was, and like you had to do like a certain amount of damage and stuff like that Obviously, English-speaking players couldn't really do it unless you knew Japanese because it was all written in Japanese text, but still, like, 
Okay, well, Everfall's a pretty good pull. I mean, never gonna use her, but still, like, she's fusion, so... Pretty good. Like, I feel like a ton of Wibwob players have just moved to Puni, which... Shouldn't really be your intent when you're localizing a game. You localize the game, you don't update it enough that all your players move to the other version of the game because this version is so barren in comparison. Like, you have to be pretty bad to have that happen. I don't know how they did that. Good job, guys. Well, I mean, at least I used some x -Borbs last week, but I'm probably going to max them out again. I, re I just want to get Soul Secrets up as well. I mean, I how many Arachnids have I got now? Two? Meh. I don't know how much more to spend. I think I've done ranting. It's like my, my weekly rant about this game. Oh, you're so negative. Well, they don't give you anything to be positive about, so... There you go. And I think that, yeah, this score attack this week is for Robinyan28 and wow, it's a ball popper. We we really needed some more ball poppers. Especially in the tough try, which doesn't really have anything going for it right now. They really need some great ball popper. That's the, the, the strong force of the tough tribe, a ball popper. Now, once we actually get Robanya yeah, 3000, who's like a direct attacker, who's actually really good, we probably won't get him for like a year or something ridiculous, because we're getting further and further behind the Japanese release. I mean, I don't know how much they can really do about it, since most of the stuff in that's been added to Puni Puni has been um, Yokai Watch 3 Yokai, of course, because obviously they're trying to like promote their new game but recently they just added a whisper event like we could get most of those except for like the one like the wisp barber which is like a joker whisper what's what is with this can we get rid of uh, chameleon right now because i kind of wanted a rackness i'll go down to 100k like some of the yokai they add on to the the japanese version are yokai watch one and two yokai like we could get those in the meantime just to pad out the, the game a bit more, just have something. Like, I know there's stuff like Azure Dragon and other decent yokai. Like, Azure Dragon, I think, is a direct attacker, which Slippery doesn't really have anything like that at the moment, except for Arachnus, but I mean, not Arachnus, and Ben Octawoken, who has a stun which kind of makes him not that great for making money and stuff like that. Okay, there, finally, another Arachnus. Can we get him to Ultimate 3 at least? I mean, it won't take that much to, for him to outpace Signaton. I think mine's level 4. Because, well, you can only get Signaton from, I think he's from Yellow Coin G's, and I got a bunch of Gigahertz orbs. Because there was like events earlier on in the game which gave you Gigahertz orbs. I, like, I don't know what's with, like. <sighs> Earlier Wibwob events used to be pretty good, like, the Liberty Nyan event was pretty good, it had its own set of missions, it was completely unique for the US version, and then after that, they were probably like, oh, we don't have enough players, so we're not gonna bother, and uh, that's it, and then you get Mimikin A and D, thanks. And then the rest has just been coins. Well, I kind of wanted to go for it to get them to Ultimate 3, but that's what I have to do, because I've just spent, like, ages rambling and I kind of want to show off uh, Arachnus Awoken oh he's at the start because he's SS rank he gets a watch boost because he's classic so that's cool wow he sounds really angry all right um yeah he's cool I mean I want to get him even higher than this but I don't know how this is gonna go I want to I wanna use Arachnus on my team whilst beating this boss uh, it's, uh, what is it? Flipper and Flopper, which is, like, the dumbest name. But, okay. Um, like, I managed to do this one, like, I had a level one, like, 
Isla on my team and I managed to beat it. Like, these guys aren't hard, like, even this, like, harder version isn't too bad. I mean, I lost a few times, but... And that's just because, like, the few time gauge gets frozen all the time. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. I mean, he kind of blends in with Swaltery a little bit because he has a red glow, so that probably wasn't the best idea. I think most of the time I lost last time is because, like, you can't really telegraph when she's going to do the big, like, attack that makes sure your Wibwob size one. I mean, maybe you can, but... Wow. She hasn't frozen the meter yet. I don't know how... Oh, well, never mind. Like, literally as I was about to get it. Oh, this is probably the best time to do this. Let's see if what Arachnus Awoken can do. Uh, I kind of needed Swalteria. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do this. So they tap the time stone. Oh, that's it, right? I don't know. Ah, oh, I did it wrong. Is that that? I'm tapping, whatever it is. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I pretty much accepted that I was going to lose anyway, because I didn't get the Swaterra in time. Like, what the hell are you supposed to do with that? Were you supposed to tap on the time stone thing on the board? I guess so, huh? I was getting confused with the... I've literally never seen the time stone when fighting these guys before. I never got that far in the fight. I, I guess I should read the actual instructions sometime. I mean, I don't really- this is literally just a recolor of the first part. I don't know what's different, like, is there an attack boost or something that makes it different? Because I realize there's, like, text at the top, like, that says, it's, like, a attack boost. I don't remember that being that in the original from the whole fight, but I don't know. I mean, you can kind of tell when she does that attack. I saw something on the screen. Yeah, that thing. Oh, I don't know. Like, I can't really look at the top and the, the board at the same time. Okay, this board's going a bit better. Well, then that happens, so maybe not. I mean, it doesn't really help that I have a rightness on my team. I mean, the Sultan looks pretty cool, but... Well, there's enough Kieran on the board now, I think. Okay, we might actually do it this time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're not that bad. I mean, we probably would have done better if Rightness wasn't level 2. There you go. Yeah, Rightness is cool. So that's pretty much it for this week's update, other than the score attack. I don't know, I guess people are going to try this week just because Robonyan's new, but yeah, because last week was just bad, okay? <laughs> Apart from the crank update for people that didn't have Kirin, like, it was pretty uneventful. So yeah, Robonyan 28, rewards, orange coin G's, I don't even know what's on those. But yeah, that's it for this week. I'll see you, I guess, next week or whatever. Like, I was going to do a video over the weekend, but I, I just didn't feel motivated by this game. And I was, I was playing other stuff anyway, so yeah, I'll see you for whatever happens in this game next. Bye.